What's going on guys, Jack here, and today we're going to be back for another episode of Design With Me, and today we're going to be doing the episode over on Placeit. This is the third episode, so if you guys missed the last two episodes of Designing With Me from some awesome t-shirt designs, then make sure you check out those, they'll be linked down in the description. But yeah, today we're going to be using Placeit, so if you want to follow along, if you want to design with me, watch the video and let's do this. But before we get right into the video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching my videos lately. It means the world to me. And if you guys are new to the channel, my name's Jack. And over here on my channel, we like to talk about print on demand, online entrepreneurship, you know, affiliate marketing, anything to make money online. We love talking about that stuff here. So if you want to know more about making money online, definitely stay tuned for this video and subscribe to watch even more. And if you guys enjoy this video, it would mean the world to me if you smash the like button. So thank you guys so much. Now let's move on to the next portion of the video. And before we start designing, I'm going to go ahead and grab about three niche ideas, three ideas. Two of them are going to be from Merch Informer on the niche hunter or the actually merch hunter to see what's hot. We're going to design something that is in demand right now. And then we're going to design one from our friendly Redbubble tool, the trend finder. And I'm going to take a look at that and see what's what's looking good and I'm going to show you guys what we're going to be going for. So on Merch Informer, what I like to do to find some hot designs, some designs that are selling is I go to here, I put top 500 and then I put the BSR to about 50,000, not 5,000 because that'll exclude a lot of the designs that are like Disney and Marvel. So I take those down and then I put it to somewhere around here. Then I just click on shirts, US, put search and then it'll bring me a bunch of good designs that are selling. So Give me some ideas obviously a lot of these i'm not going to go with but like things like happy 100th day of school we could remake that pretty easily in our design tool with place it uh, there's a lot of ideas here and there's a lot of things to work with but i'm going to keep scrolling i'm going to find two and i'm going to update you guys with the two we're going to be using for our designs today so i've been seeing a lot of this happy 100th day of school and i think that's one of the niches we're going to go into we're going to do one design for a happy 100th day of school and then i'm going to go find two more niches right now Another design I actually really like is the one above my head right here and it is I just want to work in my garden and hang out with my chickens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something like this but not really the same exact words. I'm going to kind of do the same niche which is like someone who likes chickens and gardens and then I'm going to put that on a shirt as well and that's going to be your second design slash niche for today. Next I'm going to come over to trending bubble and I'm going to find one of these that I like and actually I do really like fishing is a tough job I can tackle it. And I can already find like or think of a few ways that I could put this into a shirt because place it has a lot of graphics for fishing. So I'm not even going to look on Redbubble to see what other people are doing. I'm just going to take that saying, take that little piece of text and that's what the third design is going to be. All right, so here we are over on place it. And the first one I'm actually going to go with is the fishing one we were just talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and type fishing into place it. If you guys are new to place it, this is what I like to do. Basically, I type the niche in or something related and try see the try to see if I can find something that works. And then I scroll down until I see one I like that would go with the saying. So the saying we're going to be using is a lot of words. So I'm going to click on this one right here. And we're going to see if we can make it into something with this saying. So here we are, this is what we get by default. And what I'm going to do basically is just try to put in the text and see what I can make. Fishing is a and then I'm going to put tough job on the second layer, but I can tackle it. So obviously that's not the exact text that the saying was, but it's the same idea and you can kind of mix things up. And this already took me like two seconds to make. And that's why I like places so much is you can make something that looks pretty high quality and you actually don't need really that much design experience. You don't need that much to work with. It's very simple. And this on a t-shirt would actually look pretty good right now. Obviously you can make this bigger. I could get a better fish, like a sideways fish would probably look really good here. I don't think really a cartoon fish does the job. But any kind of fish that is sideways, maybe this one here um, would look good. But you can kind of mess around for yourself. I don't really think that one is the best one. But there's so many fish here. I'm going to just search for one second with you guys here and see if we can find a fish that I like that goes well with this design. Obviously, there are a lot of fish here that I can make work. But I want to pick one that actually goes with the design a bit better. This one actually might do the trick if it was like this and then if we change the accent color it might look a little bit better like change it to white and then put our background to black because that's usually what we're working with don't really like that but i'm gonna mess around and i'm gonna come back to this design and show you guys what i end up with all right here's what i came up with obviously it's very basic but here's the great thing about place it which i want to show you 
So I have this design here. What I can easily do to make a whole nother design, and obviously I probably would change the colors too. I probably wouldn't just change the graphic, but if I click on the right here and I pick a different graphic, I can just move the text and then bam, I have a whole nother design. And then what you can do here is change the text, you know, make it a little bit drastic of changes. You can try new things really easily and have a different image and you don't have to stick with the same format. You could obviously mix things around, put the fishing on the top like this and then put it like here and then have a nice logo here. There's so many things you can do and I just want to show you guys that the design that I came up with isn't really the end all be all of the design that I'm going to go with because there's so many things I can do quickly and especially when you stick in a certain niche, this is how I get a lot of designs out quickly how I used to do it. I don't do this as much as often anymore because I like, I'm trying to expand on my niches. I'm trying to get in like a bunch of different niches and test niches this month. But this is a great way. If you find a niche you are really, you know, liking, then you can really test like 10, 20 designs and make 20, 10, 20 designs really quickly this way. And you could even change the font colors, change everything. You can kind of really go with the flow and just make like five, 10 designs in one of these templates depending on which niche you're in obviously fishing has a lot more images for it but a lot of niches are going to have like 10 to 15 images that are still good for your design that you can make work and make a really completely different design on the same exact niche now real quick i'm going to export this as i would for redbubble just to show you guys the process of that so what you want to do is change the background to transparent then click download after that go over here and click view all then I'm really zoomed in, but you're gonna have under here a download button. Don't click this, click the down arrow and click crop and resize. Now you're gonna see our design here, but it's not really the size we want it for a Redbubble upload. So what I like to do for Redbubble and especially Redbubble, if you're on Merch by Amazon, I would go 4,500 by 5,400 here. However, if you're mainly just Redbubble and other platforms, for Redbubble to be enabled on all products and look good, especially like greeting cards and other things, you wanna do 5,000 and then press tab or go to the next section and put 7100. So this is going to make it look really nice on all the products on Redbubble as compared to a Merch by Amazon dimension. And then what you want to do is it's hard to see so I usually zoom in. You can do that by pressing control and then putting scroll wheel but sometimes the zoom in doesn't work that great. And then because it's hard to see I like to make it pretty big until the edges are there and then once you have it in place I just go ahead and I click download then that will create a download that is these dimensions and not the actual dimensions we started with which will be perfect for Redbubble upload and I'm not going to show these steps on the next two designs but I just want you guys to know if you're new to place it that's how I do it and that's how I basically just resize all my images and download them every time. Alright the next niche we're going to be designing is happy 100th day of school or maybe not happy 100th day of school but some kind of direction of the 100th day of school. So what I'm gonna do here is type in school on place it on the search bar. And then what I'm gonna do is go to the left hand side and put, go to t-shirt design. So we just see the t-shirt designs. And obviously you could put in logos too because logos are great. Logos um, are part of the t-shirt design area but they do have a lot of graphics that you can adjust and change. And then we're gonna go until I see something I like. I kinda like this. I don't really see how I can make it into a school thing. I'm sure I could, but what I'm going to do is keep scrolling for a sec and we're going to go with something a little bit different, a little bit easier. And we're just going to pick one of these very simple designs. Let's say this one. And we're going to make a text based design with this one. I don't think we're going to go too crazy because obviously, um, you know, you could spend a lot of time on these designs, but I just want to get the idea that you can make a design that will sell a good a decent design that actually looks pretty professional in a short amount of time and we're gonna try to make a 100th day of school design right now so what I actually did off camera was I went ahead and I grabbed basically two images that look pretty good I searched up 100 uh, I don't know why all of this thing these things came up but they did and then I added another graphic I click this button here and what I did was I basically grabbed two stars because I had an idea that will do something like you're a star you made it one you lasted 100 days you know something like that that is you know just kind of original kind of funny you know that's the first thing that came to mind so obviously that's what i'm going to type because i actually think it sounds pretty good and i'm going to put your star here and what i just did was i clicked add another text and i'm going to do you're a star and i'll put it up here we're going to change the color of that and we're going to change a lot of it when you add a new text it looks pretty weird so what you want to do if you don't already know Go to the right hand side here after you click the colors text background i make that transparent 
and then you can change the actual text color we're gonna make the text colors uh, yellow because that just or we're actually we're gonna, we're gonna make them light blue or purple something to go with the rest of the design so I'm gonna kind of make it like this I think this will look good maybe not that yellow but you get the point and what I'm gonna do here is change the fonts because they look pretty terrible first I'm gonna change the text your star you lasted 100 days and then that is gonna be how that's gonna look and I'm gonna change the text actually what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add another text because I don't really like the way that one looks I'm gonna put you lasted in 100 days on separate lines and usually I wouldn't walk you guys through the whole design process but on this one I'm going to just because I feel like if you're watching this video you probably want to know like how do I design my stuff how do I actually get designs made and this is how I do it a lot of the time is I just kind of go for it honestly and place it makes it easy so you lasted 100 days and I think that already looks a lot better because it's like that and then what we're gonna do is bring this down here your star you lasted 100 days I think that looks pretty good already and then we're gonna change the fonts because those fonts don't look that great I really like this one they have on here which is I don't really know how to say it Symbria so Symbria I think that one looks really good I like that obviously I don't have I don't think they have Gaglin on here you can go to more fonts and search but Gaglin's another really good font they don't have it on here but you can use it on Photoshop and on other things if you can get a free copy of it and a commercial copy that is so be careful and then you lasted we're gonna do that oh we already typed it out and we're gonna change the font over here to the same one actually we're gonna change the we're gonna, yeah we're gonna change it to that font and we're gonna leave the bottom font a uh, different font and maybe not that font specifically but we're gonna make it a different font just to change it up and you can go to the suggested fonts and try them out but I'm basically just gonna stick with one that looks a little bit different and looks a bit cartoony like that one looks cartoony looks kind of nice and there we go you you're a star you lasted 100 days and I think this actually wouldn't look that bad on a white background a oh, bit hard on the eyes but you could change the colors from yellow to a like orangey thing however I think I really like it on the black background so I'm gonna stick to that and that's our second design done you can go ahead click download and resize it like we did the other design but that is our second design let's move on to the third so the next time we're gonna be making is garden and chickens niche so someone likes the garden someone likes chickens and what I'm gonna do here that's actually might surprise you is obviously we could do the same method as before go look up like gardening garden uh, plants chicken you know we could do that in the design section in the t-shirt design section to place it but what I'm gonna do instead is I am going to make try to make this design into a garden and chicken niche and because we have two images and we can have so much text on this design I really think we'll be able to pull it off so let's go ahead and I'm gonna search for some image on the right hand side here and see what I can come up with so it actually didn't take very long I went and found a little gardening design here I typed on the left gardening then I found a chicken and I think these actually look pretty good together and I basically just changed the font to hanging out in the garden chilling with my chickens so obviously it's a bit different to I just want to work in the garden and hang out with my chickens but I actually think this works quite nicely I think it sounds really nice off the tongue just something I thought of and basically you can you know adjust these make them centered obviously everything's not centered right now but I actually don't care for the centering at this point as long as everything's in line with one another you can actually center on the tool when you resize so that's what I usually do and then bam hanging out in the garden chilling with my chickens and obviously you could change this quite a bit you could put different types of chickens <laughs> like this one and different types of gardening you could just do a single plant or you could use some of these other images some of them are a bit weird and don't really fit in but you could do something like this and then put this guy here like there's a lot of things you could do right but I like the design that I came up with originally which I don't even remember if I can get back to it now basically this chicken and I changed the color to like a dark green which ended up looking like this and then on the top one I was using this right here and then I made it a bit bigger and it looked really good actually I think you know if someone were to look at this shirt they might actually like it but something you could also do is change this to a very simple design or a simple plant make it smaller and just make the text the more like prevalent thing which, which, I, which I do do a lot and you can kind of have it like this and just have like little two little graphics stuff like that hanging with my chicken in my garden and that looks great too you could even change the text obviously but that is the third and final design for today so if you guys want to know more designs let me know down in the comments 
and let's roll the outro. Well, yeah, that's me making three designs with Placeit. As you're gonna see, it is really easy to make designs with Placeit and not just any designs, designs that look really good. So if you guys are interested in that, there's a link down in the description for Placeit. You guys can go sign up and get a free trial too. Try this out. You can also use some of their freebie designs. They have a way you can test their tool and download. They have free designs and free images. So you can use those too. So if you wanna try it out for free, you don't even have to sign up for a trial. You could try out some of their access and their features without actually even signing up. But yeah, that's the really thing I like a lot about Placeit is that it makes everything really easy. And if you're not a graphic designer, it's really easy to get into the habit of putting out really good designs without actually, you know, knowing much about graphic design or doing anything really too strenuous on your artistic skills. With that being said, though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button and stay blessed. Keep striving. I will see you guys in the next one. Wait, if you made it to this point in the video. Comment down below chicken, all right? Comment down below chicken if you made it to this point in the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Stay blessed. Peace out.